Our faculty are approachable and engaged. Mentorship is one of our biggest values. We have a really state-of-the-art simulation center that's situated close to Methodist Hospital. We actually obtained a grant for a $100,000 ultrasound simulator that does both OB and GYN ultrasound. We also have surgical skills sessions monthly that includes hands-on simulation uh, for various surgical skills or obstetrical drills. We also have a robotics curriculum as well as a robust FLS, Fundamentals of Laparoscopic Surgery curriculum. I am a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon and pelvic pain specialist. I um, am in charge of the robotics curriculum. My goal in teaching is to make you the best surgeon that you can be. I see referrals from all over the state uh, for women uh, needing family planning care during their pregnancies. All residents have the opportunity to rotate with me during their second year. We have a comprehensive uh, Ryan uh, family planning residency program that includes experience in different clinics uh, throughout Indianapolis as well as here in the hospital with me for second trimester uh, termination services. We include residents in all aspects of care um, and aim to graduate residents who really have an understanding of uh, what is necessary in this area of complex family planning. I also uh, work significantly with AMPATH and the Global Health uh, Program, and that includes significant time spent in Kenya working on various clinical as well as research reproductive health initiatives, um, and residents are welcome and encouraged uh, to participate in this as well. We have one of the only comprehensive trans programs in the country. I personally am interested in transgender care, and we have an excellent exposure with um, some of our faculty here um, to actually get to do participate in transgender care both from the like hormonal side or the surgical side. That's a really special experience for the residents. They get to learn the ins and outs of trans care and the things that we can do to provide excellent care for this patient population. We have a whole curriculum for wellness uh, for the residency program specifically. We really wanted to create an environment that fed us and gave us energy instead of taking the energy away. What we're trying to do is weave in diversity and inclusion into all wellness efforts. The ways that we sort of fail to have these more courageous conversations and fail to attend to the um, implications of um, difference and disadvantage has real implications for uh, the quality of care that we provide and the quality of education that um, we're able to uh, provide our learners. We do a great job in terms of making sure that the residents are seeing models that have representation, um, you know, in the grand at the grand rounds podiums as people who are coming in and, and speaking um, as, as experts. Um, I think that those kinds of things are just like small efforts that make a difference. Advocacy is a critical part of being a physician, and it's something we don't get quite enough training in in medical school. And I didn't feel like I had quite enough training as a resident. So when I became faculty, it was important to me to develop a curriculum for residents so that they had as much exposure and education and experience with advocacy as they needed and wanted to be a really compelling voice in that conversation about patients and health problems and public health and so forth.